holy moly y'all we spent a crap ton on glasses and we actually have vision insurance like good vision insurance Hey there, hope February is going smoothly for you. We are just chugging along in our semi-storm mode budget way. I honestly don't think there's gonna be a lot of frivolity in our budget this month, which is kind of awesome. Why not much frivolity? One, because we're doing Mike's money challenge, and two, because we're still in semi-storm mode. But more on that later this month. So rather than focusing on how the month is going in our mid-month this month, I'm gonna talk about our eye doctor appointment and why it was so rough. I've been wearing glasses since I was about college age, when I was sitting in the back of the classroom having a little bit trouble reading the board. That was back when they actually still used chalkboards in college. I don't think they do anymore. I was sitting in the back, couldn't read very well, so I went and got myself some glasses. About 10 years later, I decided it was time to move into contacts, but didn't really want to stick my finger in my eye. Then I discovered it's really not that big of a deal, and so I very quickly move into contacts and loved them. So about the time I started wearing contacts, I had gotten to that point where I always needed vision enhancement. It wasn't like I could take my contacts out and just revive because I really still couldn't see. So I would wear my contacts during the day and in the evening when I was getting ready for bed, I would put on my glasses. I never really cared that much what I looked like because I only wore them at night and nobody ever saw me in them. So I didn't really, it didn't matter what the frames were made of or if they they were pretty or anything. They just needed to make me be able to see. But that's all changed now because as I've mentioned previously, I just got diagnosed with two long-term chronic eye conditions, which means I'm gonna have to start wearing glasses out in public. And I am really not excited about that. And I got to admit, these glasses I got like four years ago. No joke, four years ago. In fact, I, as I told you before, I got them before I started getting neck injections for dystonia. So the the bifocals is actually like right over here because I used to, actually it's right over here, sorry. I used to read like this because that was the way that my neck automatically went. So I can't even wear these things now. And when I was having to wear them to work for the last couple of weeks, it was actually kind of embarrassing, like really embarrassing. So knowing that we were going to need to be going to the eye doctor in December during open season, we went ahead and reinstated our vision insurance through my employer. And in January, I made an appointment with a preferred provider from the vision insurance. That way I knew everything would be covered. Little did we know, February was gonna be storm mode month. So the first weekend in February, we had our appointments and the good news is that Mauricio's appointment was completely free. Woo woo. Unfortunately, mine was $177. What? The way my insurance works, they cover contacts or glasses but not both. After much debate with the guys there at the eye doctors, we decided it would actually be cheaper for me to file for glasses and then just pay out of pocket for the contacts. So out of pocket, I paid $90 for the contacts and the rest was for one box of contacts for each eye. And they gave me a written prescription so I can go ahead and order the rest of my contacts online. But Wendy, why not use one of those super cheap places online and buy your glasses there and order your contacts? Whoa, cowboy, hold your horses, we're getting to that. So as it turns out, I'm slightly vision impaired. Way, way worse than I actually thought I was. See, I sat down in the chair and the guy that comes in before the doctor that runs the, the eye tests and everything, he did the little, um, electronic chart that pops up and said, can you read these lines? So I did that and obviously I needed a prescription change. I couldn't really read the any of the bottom lines that he told me to. He told me to take out my contacts and they was gonna test me completely with without contacts. Now it's been a really, really long time since I have gone for more than like 30 seconds not being able to see, like a really long time. And so he popped up that electronic screen on the board and he said, tell me what you can read. And I was like, um, I see a big white square, kind of, that's blurry. He's like, you can't read anything? And I said, is there something to read? He said, okay. 
click, 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 and he dialed it up three notches. And um, he said, go ahead and read that. And I said, read what? So long story short, he click, click, clicked all the way to the top. And I still couldn't see it. Like at one point he actually said, Ms. Valencia, this is the highest it will go. And I still couldn't see anything. And so I squinted really hard and I said, oh, there, there, I think I can read it. It's an N, right? And he said, no. So after the doctor saw me, she wrote out my prescription and she said, now I want to warn you, your prescription is going to be fairly expensive. And I, I didn't worry too much. I had a plan. I was going to go ahead and go to one of those like cheapo places online and order them. So I asked her which one she recommended. She gave me this look like, oh, you poor naive soul. And very gently told me that while those places were excellent for Mauricio to order from, they were not in my future. She gave me all the deets, like apparently my glasses should be like Coke bottle thick, but I need ultra, ultra thin technology so they aren't that thick. I do remember like three pairs of glasses before my glasses were fairly thick. So, and that was a long time ago and my prescription has gotten a million times worse since then. It had something to do with the ultra thin technology and embedding stuff in the lenses and the fact that I wore pro progressive bifocals. I don't know, it was pretty complicated and I didn't really understand so I just nodded and smiled and I was like, okay, whatever you say, you know more than I do. Since Mauricio had only had one other pair of glasses, we decided to go ahead and go to Lens Crafters and both of us buy glasses that we could actually try on. Me because I had to and Mauricio's because the eye doctor told us that unless we picked really expensive frames, our insurance should cover Mauricio's glasses completely. I should know better. Mauricio and I both have the amazing skill of picking out the single most expensive thing in the entire store every single time. But we had a coupon from my vision insurance, so that was pretty awesome. Mauricio went first and he picked out a bunch of glasses and tried them all on and ended up picking this beautiful pair of Armani frames for $85. That was the total that we had to pay and that was all $85 or because the frames were $85 more than our insurance would cover. Remember, we had budgeted in $500 for the eye appointment and for glasses. So we were still well under budget, but wait, there's more. When it was my turn to pick out frames, I had been kind of perusing and she had given me a little tray and I had picked it out 20 pairs of frames that I liked. And when she started talking to me, she explained to me that I could only wear certain kinds of frames with certain dimensions because the glasses that I needed required certain dimensions for the frames. Okay. So which of the 20 I had in my little tray would work. That's what I wanted to know. She took several out, but left me with about 10 frames that would actually work. And so I figured I could narrow it down to one from 10. I mean, hey, why not? The pair that I decided on were these beautiful, like pale gray frames with these cute little embellishments on the sides. I just loved them and they were adorable. So when I had selected the gray ones, I actually commented to the lady that I was really surprised I was liking these the best because I really was planning on getting like a nice, simple, like pink brown tortoiseshell kind of thing, you know, something not too dark tortoiseshell, but something, you know, adult looking, not gray plastic. But I was kind of in love with the bling on the side because I'm a sucker for bling. I'm a big fan. So the lady looked at me and she goes, oh, I know which ones you need. They'll be perfect for you. And she left and she came right back and she brought these ig identical glasses to the gray one in the shape, but they were tortoise shell with blue on the inside and they had the little bling. I was so excited. They look really dark in this picture, but I promise you the tortoise shell is perfect for my skin. It's a lot of tortoise shell is really too dark for me, but this looks great. So now comes the fun part. So once we had decided and we had taken all the measurements that we needed to take and done everything that we need to do, she started working up the bill. And my glasses, my glasses came to just under $2,000. Not even kidding. But the good news was our share of the glasses was only gonna be $525. <laughs> Five hundred and twenty-five dollars 
But once the lady picked me up off the floor and Mauricio like slapped me around back to consciousness, the lady explained to us that the insurance only covered a portion of each of the things that I needed because there was a maximum amount that they would actually cover. So then me being the brilliant person I am, I looked at the lady and I said, okay, what are the optional things that we put in here that I can take off? She said the only optional thing that was in there was actually free. Mauricio handed her our debit card while I sobbed gently in the background and kind of curled in the proverbial fetal position there in the middle of lens crafters. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. And this video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.